We here at R24 have been working really hard on a really cool project that's coming up. We thought we'd just take a minute, take a break, and do a fun top five list. And if you guys like this top five list, we'll do more in the future based on some of the topics that you pick. So right now we're going to list our favorite top five Nintendo consoles of all time. Number five. All right, coming in at the bottom spot on our list is the brand new system from Nintendo, the Nintendo Switch. Now, it's no surprise here because we are all very impressed with this system, especially coming off of 2012's Wii U. Everybody was clamoring for Nintendo to return to glory with their systems. And if you ask us, Nintendo has. I really think that they knocked it out of the park with the Nintendo Switch. And Really, it's Breath of the Wild's fault, because without that, this might not have landed on our top spot, but boy oh boy, did that really just help the Switch be oh, so sweet. Number four. We listed the Nintendo GameCube as number four on our list, which might not resonate with everyone, as it wasn't the most popular system. And Nintendo had some big shoes to follow up with the Nintendo 64. But when this came out in 2001, I was pleasantly surprised and I dove right in. It was here on the GameCube that I spent dozens and dozens and dozens of hours playing the Super Smash Bros. Melee, which still, as you know, is huge in the community today. Nothing but love, baby! Number three. There was a lot of back and forth between us on what should be number three and number two, but ultimately we picked the granddaddy of them all to be number three, the Nintendo Entertainment System from 1985. Now, arguably, this list wouldn't even be a thing if it wasn't for the Nintendo Entertainment System, and gaming just wouldn't be what it is today at all. We owe everything to the NES. Not only did it bring us 700 plus titles of amazing nostalgia, it birthed the franchises of Super Mario Brothers, Legend of Zelda, Metroid, and Mega Man, and so many more that we hold to such high esteem today. Number two. I think you can see where this is going. Number two is the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. When this puppy dropped in North America on August 23rd, 1991, we had no idea what to expect, and our crappy little 90s minds were blown. I personally hold this console in such high regards because I have endless memories of just spending countless hours playing this system. Super Mario World, Super Castlevania, Super Star Wars, Mega Man X, Mortal Kombat 1, 2, 3, Ultimate, Killer Instinct, you name it, I dug right into it and I it formed my soul. <laughs> There's real passion here, as you can tell, and I still play the system in all of its games today. El numero uno. This one is an absolute no-brainer, because if you think back in the 80s, if Nintendo changed everything, in the mid-90s, they came right back around, smack you upside your stupid little head and change it again. In 1996, when the Nintendo 64, or as we knew it then, the Ultra 64, finally dropped, our collective minds were shattered. Never did we possibly think that we would see our favorite little plumber in the third dimension where we could free roam and do anything we absolutely wanted in the Mushroom Kingdom. That was unprecedented and revolutionary. The Nintendo 64 launched with only two titles, Super Mario 64 and Pilot Wings, but Mario 64 was such a game changer that it didn't matter for anybody because we put thousands of hours into the title and by the time we were done with it, there was plenty more titles to go around. And not to mention, two years later after that, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time dropped, and Mario 64 and Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time are regarded as two of the greatest games of all time, Ocarina of Time holding a 99% Metacritic. So if you don't think the Nintendo 64 brought you some heavy hitting titles, you're dead wrong. Anyway guys, there's a bite-sized top five for you. If you'd like to see more, let us know and maybe we can come up with some new lists based around some topics that you guys have in mind. You know what to do. Press that subscribe button. Don't be silly. You want to be a part of the family. And check out those other two videos. 